My name is Rico Verhoeven. My team is Team Super Pro, and I'm fighting for Holland. Entering the two fighters, Rico. Contrary to popular belief, heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven has an extensive history as a tournament fighter. It goes all the way back to Glory 4, where the young Verhoeven participated in the 16-man tournament. His first opponent being the Russian powerhouse, Sergei Kartanov. And round one underway. Sweet looking right hand, uppercut by Verhoeven, jacks the job, heading done up. Mixed martial artist to compete for the Pride Fighting Championship versus Russia. There's a short right uppercut, uppercut from Verhoeven. Left hand kick by Verhoeven, great action here. This fight is now over, Verhoeven has won both rounds. So we will not see a third round in this fight. Yeah, the moment na zo'n wedstrijd in de kleedkamer zijn intens, want je hebt altijd wel een pijntje hier of daar en je bent wel een keer geraakt. Dus en dan moet je eigenlijk weer opgelapt worden en je mentaal klaarmaken voor de volgende wedstrijd. That next fight was against the tournament favorite and four-time K1 Grand Prix winner Semi Shil and what could be seen as a symbolic changing of the guard. 23-year-old Verhoeven gave it his all but fell just short. Fight. Round one. Verhoeven using a lot of movement. He's really, really making a problem for Semi. Semi needs somebody to stand right in front of him. Oh, nice left hook by Verhoeven. He's smart here. Oh, but the knee from Shell drops Verhoeven. Kick and a punch combination. Left hand kick chopping left hand by Shell. Knee to the head and Verhoeven in trouble here at the end of round two. Corner semi -shield. Because the judges awarded Schilt with the first two rounds, the third round was no longer necessary, and Verhoeven was eliminated, taking some valuable experience back home. That echt diep graaf is, and je moet eigenlijk nooit voorbij je eerste tegenstander kijken. Dus zorg dat je je focust op je eerste tegenstander en daar gelijk alles geeft. Tot op het moment dat je half gas erin gaat. Dan kom je die eerste wedstrijd misschien niet eens door. One year later, Verhoeven entered the Glory 11 four-man heavyweight tournament, where he first faced fan favorite Gokan Saki. Fight! Going on the attack with a crisp punching combination against the bigger Verhoeven, and that is where they... Oh, and Saki taking umbrage with the referee, Wagner, who ruled that a knockdown Duke, do you agree? The first eight countdown, yeah, was a little bit like I was... Yes, surprised as well. Doesn't follow up, however. Lead left hook behind the guard by Saki. Misses with that left hook. Is an upset in the making here in Chicago. Spinning back fist by Saki lands. Majority decision for your winner, Rico. In a close fight, Verhoeven got the decision, setting him up for the final against the experienced Romanian, Daniel Guida. Any questions, fighters? Hook him up. Let's rock and roll, guys. By Guida through the guard. Punch kick combo by Verhoeven, lands the right hand. There's a left hand kick by Gita that connects. Another left hand kick taking a page out of Mirko Prokop's playbook. His head just got popped back like a pest dispenser with that right uppercut. What a fight, what a night in the Windy City. And now Glory Heavyweight Tournament World Champion Rico. In a high-paced, closely fought battle, it was Rico who got the decision, earning him his first heavyweight belt and a check for $250,000. How much is it? $250,000. What are you going to spend it on? <laughs> oh my God. It is a moment and a feeling that nooit meer te evenaren zal zijn, maar ja, wel iets wat ik voor altijd met me meeneem. After that, it took eight years before Verhoeven entered another tournament, when at Glory 77, his title fight against Jamal Ben Sadiq was canceled, and instead he participated in a two-fight, one-night contest, where he first faced veteran Hesti Gerges. Let's see how Rico Verhoeven handles himself Judges. in a tournament. Time for the throw. Nice low kick there for Rico, which drops Hesty. Good perspective. Oh, I like that. Rico's got to be careful. Switching stances, playing. 
No problem for the king. This fight from the white corner, Rico Verhoeven. Yes, I'm good. I'm good. I was just warming up. Verhoeven dominated all three rounds, advancing him to the tournament final, where he would meet the tank, Tariq Kababes. Three rounds for the glory four-man heavyweight tournament final. Nice rear low kick, and that sends Kababes down. And then when you're thinking low, Rico goes to the body with that kick. Tight. Yep. Yeah. And they're waving it off. Some sort of injury to Tariq Kababez. So a anticlimactic finish. The final only lasted one round, with Kababez being unable to continue and making Rico a two-time tournament champion on top of his decade of reign of the heavyweight division. Yeah, like I said, just motivate the next generation to, to set the bar here. And somebody says, like, I want to do it like Rico, but even better. Can he achieve the ultimate crowning of his career by also taking the eight-man Grand Prix? We will find out March 9th. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time is now.